Hey everybody, Gunnison Undercover. Today is February 9th, 2019. It's Saturday afternoon around quarter after four Eastern Standard Time. It is cold and windy here today in New Jersey. Sun's shining, but cold and windy. So we have an update on this Blue Zero Hero turd out of Long Branch. His name is Patrick D. Joyce Jr. His father was a lieutenant at the same agency, Long Branch Police. He, uh, I believe he retired and he passed away not long ago. And from what I heard, he was a good guy. But his son, that's a different question. So, the Office of the Monmouth County Prosecutor has released an update last night or yesterday sometime regarding this officer because uh, he was suspended the other day but no charges pending. Now we're going to read and find out what they're doing. So it says a Long Branch police officer is facing charges of criminal sexual conduct and harassment stemming from an incident at a police promotion party at a city bar, announced Monmouth County Prosecutor Christopher J. Gramacioni. Long Branch police officer Patrick D. Joyce Jr., 35 of West Long Branch, and a 12-year veteran of the Long Branch Police Department is charged with fourth-degree criminal sexual contact and harassment, a pedally disorderly person's offense. The charges stem from an incident at Jack's Gold Line stand, a city bar where a private party was hosted following the promotion of four city police officers on Friday, February 1st, 2019. It is alleged that at the private party, Joyce inappropriately touched a 21-year-old woman without her consent for his own sexual arousal or gratification. As a result of these charges, Joyce has been suspended by the Long Branch Police Department. Joyce is scheduled to make his first appearance in Monmouth County Superior Court on March 15, 2019. If convicted of criminal sexual contact, Joyce faces up to 18 months in state prison. If convicted of harassment, Joyce faces up to 30 days in county jail. This case is assigned to the Monmouth County Assistant Prosecutor Melanie Falco. All right, well, let's talk about this one. We'll get a little more in-depth about this fine, upstanding officer, you know, who's out there protecting and serving. All right, so here's the story on this guy. Let's get down to how much he makes. He makes $118,856, so he's almost $119,000. He's been on the job 12 years. Now, the controversy with this fine upstanding officer out protecting and serving is back in January of 2010 he and another man at a bar by the name of Headliner down in Belmar assaulted a gentleman out in the parking lot and Joyce was charged with second degree assault that's a serious charge and he was placed on uh, he was suspended without pay Fast forward, he had, a, he had a crafty lawyer, his connection, his father, I believe at the time, was still a lieutenant there working at Long Branch Police. No doubt the prosecutor's office and the judge extended a little courtesy, and he got it all downgraded to simple assault. He got a one-year probation sentence, and he probably got a little fine on that, too. So what is disgusting about this is you have a cop who assaulted somebody and he got it plead even though he got it pleaded down to simple assault it's still a violent crime and he got one year probation whoever heard of a cop <coughs> getting convicted pleading guilty he didn't get convicted he pleaded guilty to a violent act and keeping his job well he got to keep his job and here we are, fast forward some years later, and he's got another violent charge on him, which is the criminal sexual assault on this 21-year-old woman. And let me just mention that he is married. He's married. And I would say to uh, Melissa, divorce this guy. You don't need him. He's a bum. You don't need him. Just on paper, he's a bum. This is not the first time he's got another problem on him. He holds the, almost one of the record top guys here in Monmouth County in um, New Jersey for use of force. He has 52 incidents of use of force in a four-year period. Do the math. 
four and a 52. How many times is that? That's over, I don't know, what is that? It's like 10 times a year that he was beating somebody up in the course of an arrest. Now, I know Long Branch. It's not that violent of a town. Half the bars, all the bars are just about gone over there, so you're not even dealing with that much anymore. But he holds one of the, he's one of the top boys for use of force in the state of New Jersey. So there you have it. You got a pattern of violence with this cop. And yet he's still on the job. And I would say to Chief Roebuck over there, do the right thing and fire that turd. For $119,000 a year, the taxpayers deserve more. We don't need him. Give that job to a good officer. We got to start promoting good officers and get rid of these turds. And he's a turd. And he got that. We all know he got the job because of his father. He didn't get it because he qualified. He got it because of his father. Oy. So this Long Branch Police Department, and if you want to know, you know, what the problem is in law enforcement in Monmouth County, here's a good example. Because nothing happens to these turds when they get caught. They get, they get, you know, they get treated with kid gloves. So, four incidents I have reported alone in the past since summertime. Four incidents, and they all came out of Long Branch. The first one was this Jake Pascucci, who left a a uh, PBA political function, backyard barbecue, had a little too much to drink, decided he was going to go to the bar and have a few more to drink. Well, he came down to Ocean Avenue in Long Branch and hit... <laughs> this poor lady trying to cross the street. All she wanted to do was get to the other side of the street to go to the CVS drugstore and get some bandages for her husband who's in a wheelchair waiting back in the motel room. They're out having a nice little day trip. Well, she never made it back. He hit her so hard, smashed the front of her car, his car in, knocked her right out of her shoes. I covered that story. I covered it on uh, Gunnison Undercover. Unfortunately, I have the video now. I would, I would post it if I could. Because I did it on site and showed you where it happened. He had a clear view, and he hit that poor lady. You know what his sentence was? 364 days in the county. He's not even going to the prison. He's going to the county. He's going to have a little vacation. 364 days for killing a lady. And then his, his lawyer had the nerve to say, oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna probably going to file a motion to get the sentence reduced. Reduce? Your client killed this poor woman. If it had been you and I, they throw us in jail for 10 years. He should have got five years in prison, but he didn't. 364 days. Now we get on to this next cop. He, was, he, was, he wasn't a cop when this happened, but he was a Long Branch police officer with a shady past. He was a pain in the ass. He gets caught stealing $84,000 from the PBA. You know what his sentence was? He had to pay the $84,000 back before sentencing, and then he got one year probation. Now, I want to show you something that happened. This happened right around the same time. There was a lady who's a treasurer of the Belmar Fire Department. She stole $40,000. Got the same charge, theft by deception. You know what her sentence was? Three years in prison. She's got to do two before she gets eligible for parole. She took $40,000. He took $84,000. He gets one year probation. She gets three years in prison. You see how they treat the cops? And now you got another cop here. I did the story on this one. It's on my it's on New Jersey Exposed. Just scroll back a little. You got another Long Branch officer by the name of a car, I think his last name was. A-K-A-R or A-K-E-L. I forget what it is. He leaves the bars in Asbury 2 a.m. in the morning. Some I don't know what happened between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. I suspect he was sleeping in his car. Either that or he wrapped the car around the pole and was sitting there the whole time. But he at 5 a.m. in the morning. He's found his cars wrapped around a telephone pole on Branchport Avenue in Long Branch. His gang members showed up. They took him back to headquarters. They had him do the hokey pokey walk. They arrested him for reckless driving and drunk driving. They didn't breathalyze or test him until two hours after he was in custody. You know what his sentence was, folks? The reckless driving and the DUI was downgraded to careless driving. He had to pay a $156 fine. And to make matters worse, you know what the judge said? The good thing is you didn't get hurt. How about you're a cop and you should know better? You should be held to higher standard. And then finally, number four is this turd here, Mr. Patrick. 
the guy with an arrest record who managed to keep his job and now here he is again with another violent charge on him a sexually groping a woman and harassing somebody I got a feeling when the guy drinks he turns into an asshole but you got four cops out of one agency out of Long Branch Police Department who have been treated with kid gloves <clears throat> Pascucci, we don't worry about him. He's in prison. He's never going to be a cop again. You got the other clown there with the $84,000. He's already done. He's not going to be a cop anymore. He, he's, he's resigned from that business. And then you got a car, a car, I think his name is, who was a drunk driver. And he still got his job. He should have been fired. Let him go find a job in another agency. should have been fired. But this is what the taxpayers for, paid for. I think that clown was getting $60,000. That's what we pay for. This is the guy that drives around in a cop car and it's going to arrest you when you've had too much to drink or tries. he jams you up and, and gives you a drunk drive. This is the guy that's going to tell you and I how we should act. Does he get fired? No. Chief Robux kept him on duty. He's still a cop. Thanks, Chief Robux. Just what we need. A drunk driver. Being a cop. Yeah, he's setting a fine a good example. And then you got this Joyce guy. Another good outstanding cop setting a great example thanks chief Robuck. you're doing a great job over there by the way chief when are you going to take that gang flag off the taxpayers wall take that gang flag down and put up the american flag put up the flag that represents everybody not that gang flag that represents bad cops chief Robuck. this is the problem in, the, in this county folks the nepotism is so rampant, so deep, the, the, the swamp is so thick with deep with nepotism that these cops get charged, they go to court, they get a nice little sweet deal, and they're still cops. And the problem, you know, and the other problem is you get these cops get the jobs, and, and they don't get them because they're qualified, they get them because they're connected. You got Joyce, his father's a lieutenant, that's why he got the job. You got a cop over in Deal who got arrested <clears throat> for, uh, I don't know, it was possession of coke or uh, distribution of cocaine and intimidating a witness. Intimidating a witness is a big charge, okay? Guess what? I believe his father, somebody in his family, I think it's his father, is a sergeant at Deal Police. So here's a clown. He's not qualified to be a cop. I saw pictures of him. He's just some fist pumping MTV Beach Club knucklehead. I saw him. We'll see what happens to him. We'll see if he, he see if he loses his job. And he was making over a hundred thousand. Another six figure guy. You'll see if he kicks the can down the road. Uh, and then, uh, I don't want to get into the other ones. You can be here all day long talking about it. But this is the problem here. So I would say to the Pro Model County Prosecutor's Office, Mr. Gramacioni, you need to put pressure on the chief over there and fire this cop. And if the chief can't fire him, then the state attorney needs to get in there, step in there, and fire him. We need to weed out these bad cops. And stop covering for them. So why do you arrest them? It doesn't do any good by the time they get to court. They get a sweet deal. This is got us an undercover. I will put this link to, to the story in the description box. Let me know what you think about this here in Monmouth County. I really like to hear what your thoughts are. Uh, I know there's some people I know who this cop is. If somebody chimed in on the video I, I just made announcing this story, said she went to school with this guy and she said uh, this Joyce guy was beat up all through school in the high school so it looks like he was the kind of guy that got picked on i looked at him he, i looked at pictures i mean he doesn't look like a big guy either and it doesn't look like he was getting a lot of action either so he probably wanted to become a cop so he could uh, even the score with the bullies i guess unfortunately somebody like him can't beat the bullies up so he goes after little guys weaker people yeah it's uh Oh, it's just uh, the nepotism. It just this the police, a, the the bad cops in this county. It's a big toilet ball, and I'd like to flush them all down, get rid of them, so these good cops can shine again. You know, it's really about. I'm sorry, I'm getting off on a tangent, but it really is about trying to help these good cops and expose these bad cops and hold these public officials accountable for why they're still cops and why they're running around out there. All right, I'm done bloviating. I'm sorry. It's just a hot issue with me. Like, share, subscribe, you know the deal. Watch the cops. Don't trust anything they tell you. It's all cop again. They're trying to poison your brain because, you know, you see one thing. You know, you're always told, don't believe anything you hear and only half of what you see. Well, they keep telling you all these things so that you won't believe what you see, which is the back crap going on. Till next time, people. It's Gunnison Undercover.
So I say this to uh, Melissa Joyce. I know you're going to see my video at some point. Divorce the bum. He's a bum. Okay, he's an absolute bum. Divorce him. You don't need him. You got smitten. You got smitten by that badge. You married this bum, and now look what you got. You got all this embarrassment. He disrespected you as a woman. He's out there groping a 21-year-old. He's 35 years old and married. You want to look at another woman, Patrick? You do it with your eyes. You do it in your head. You don't do it with your hands. And you keep it to yourself. Stupid ass. You should have been charged with stupidness, you know? I keep saying there's got to be a charge in the book called stupidness. And he should be charged with stupidness.